to configure your IDX search link so that you can embed it on another website for your clients to search for listings, simply hover over the My Matrix tab. Then click on the Settings option near the bottom. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and use the IDX configuration link. On this page, I will go through some of the basics that you will need to know to create your own IDX search links. First, you'll notice that there are no IDX search links already created. So you're going to need to create a new IDX page. Highlight that and then give it a name. The name is only for you so to remind you which ones you have already created. So I'm going to create one, just call it My IDX Search. Below that are the three different types of IDX searches you can use. The one that you're seeing down here is called a map search, My Portal or IDX Map Search. If you want to see what this one looks like, up in the top right hand section is a preview tab. Clicking on the preview tab, you can see that we have the search criteria fields here, but to search by a, a street or a location or a county or something like that, it's simply going to use the map behind the scenes for your client to use. They can also use the uh, radius or the rectangle to draw their shapes on the map. It's all map driven except for the price, bedrooms, and other criteria. To go back to the settings tab, I can then change it to something like my listings. My listings would just be an option to where you could see your active listings. And then the top one is search. The search one you can choose from a commercial search or a general basic search or an open house search. I'm going to use the IDX search because that's the most common one most people will be using. By clicking on that one, then as your clients or the public use this link to find listings, do you want them to be displayed in a single line view or in a thumbnail view? I'm going to choose the thumbnail view. Now, if I use that same preview tab, I can see what this looks like. This does not use the map in the background and it allows the public to search by the property type, price, bedrooms, and then here they can pick their county, municipality, zip code, or school district. They can even type in an MLS number or a street name of a listing if they know that. So on this one, that's what I want to use. I want to use the IDX search and I like the thumbnail view. I'm just going to go down here and simply hit save. Now you can see up here I've got a brand new search IDX called My IDX Search that's configured this way. I'll need to enable it though. I'll click on Enabled and then I hit Save and this link right down here is a live link that I can copy and paste and put it on my website or give it to my webmaster to let them frame it. Now you'll notice it's in an HTML code format. If I don't need an HTML code format and all I need is just a link, then everything in here after the first quotation marks is what I need to copy and paste and give to my webmaster or use on my website. So it just depends if you need the HTML code or not. And then uh, this referring page down here, don't worry about this. In fact, you're not able to put anything in here. Once it is used on a live site, we will put the referring page in there for you and you'll come back and see what it looks like. Let's create another one. This time, I want to create a new IDX page and I'm going to call this one My Active Listings. So maybe I want to have a link so people can see what my active listings are. With that one highlighted, I'm going to then choose the My Listings link and then I can choose My Listings my active and pending listings, uh, and so forth here. I can even do one for my office active or active and pending listings. 
and so forth. Now you may not have all of these options that I have here, but you should have a number of these options at your uh, choosing. So I'm going to choose the active and pending one. Same thing. Do I want them displayed in a thumbnail view or in a single line view? And just remember, you can always use the preview uh, option here to see what it looks like. But I don't have any listings, so when I hit preview, it's just going to show that there's no listings there. If I like this, all I need to do is hit the Save button again. And now I've got two IDX search links, one for active listings and one for an IDX search that I can embed. If I go back to the Search tab, if I want to uh, create a, an open house one, I can always use an open house option here. And what this would do is, well, first let me create a new IDX link, give it a name. I'm going to call it My Open House. I'm going to choose the Search tab and change it to Open Houses. This open house would allow my, my clients or the public that go to my website and use this link to search for upcoming open houses. Here again, I would just enable that link and I would hit the Save button. If I go to the Preview tab, you'll just see what it looks like. It's got the open house date, the type, and all kinds of information here that they can search by. And then they would just hit search. And then what they would see are all those open houses that are out there. And finally, let me show you an option here at the bottom of the page. You have a background color, a header and a background color, and a header font color, and a button style. The button style would just allow me to change the button style to match what my website is. So I might have a website that I want to have a yellow button. I might want the page background to be very similar to what I have on my company's website or another website. Maybe it's the teal blue. And maybe I like my header background to be a certain color. And then if I save this, if I go to my preview tab, you can just see that my button style is now changed and the background is now matching what I have on my other websites. So that's pretty much it. I just want to show you, and if you don't want to pick the color and you know your color code, you can just type in that color code here. And if you do several of these options here, you can always copy that code and paste it into your other link so that way it's keeping the same color consistency. I hope this little uh, feature uh, helps you. If you have any questions, please let us know, and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you.